Sir Handel was given a great welcome when he returned. It was too late for the workmen to unload him that night, so the engines asked if his truck could be put where he could tell them all about his adventures. A real prince and princess came to see us, Sir Handel told them proudly. They rode in a special train. Driver said they were given some books about us, written by someone called the Thin Clergyman, but I didn't really understand that. I do, said Duke. He and the Fat Clergyman were the ones who found me, and they put me in a book too. Peter Sam was impressed. Did you pull the prince's train, he asked Sir Handel. No, replied Sir Handel. I was spare engine. It poured with rain and I got soaked. I pulled a special wedding train, though. We had to bring the coaches back very early in the morning. I've never been out at that time of day before. Peter Sam told Sir Handel about his tangle with the brambles. Sir Handel laughed. I know what you mean, he said. I had an adventure a bit like that just before I came away. It was a wet day and I didn't want to go out, but driver said I must. Well, we set off. Luckily, the train wasn't very full, so we got on all right, even though it was raining. Then, we stopped at a station. Sir Handel paused dramatically. Go on, urged Peter Sam. Just beyond the station, continued Sir Handel, there was a steep bit and a curve. Well, it was wet, so naturally I was concentrating on getting up the hill. Of course, agreed Flaneas gravely. As we came round the bend, a tree suddenly seemed to jump out at me. I tried to stop, of course, but my wheels slipped on the wet rails and I ran smack into the tree. It hurt, I can tell you. It must have done, agreed Duke, and there were sympathetic murmurs from the others. The tree didn't actually hit me in the eye, explained Sir Handel, but driver and fireman made a great fuss about it. Next morning they put a bandage on my forehead and a black patch over one eye. Everyone laughed and said I looked like a pirate. Then I pulled a special train, something called an AGM. They even wrote a piece about me in their magazine. Sir Handel sighed happily. Oh, it was great fun, he said. Did you see my twin, Tally Clin? asked Scarloy. He was in another part of the shed, replied Sir Handel. The other engines told me that he's on the mend and he'll be back at work soon. He's lucky. He's got a lovely railway. Sir Handel closed his eyes, remembering. All the same, he added, it's good to be home. Duke smiled in the darkness. I know what you mean, he agreed.